Coming in at a whopping 5'6". I know how difficult it is to find brands that are short guy friendly. That's why in this series, we're gonna be taking a look at brands that could possibly be for the short kings. And today on the chopping block, we got none other than Abercrombie & Fitch. There's nothing in here. Everything is, everything is up there. So honestly, I want to keep this video short and sweet, <laughs> kind of like me. So we're going to get straight into the items, kicking it off with these loose linen pants. One thing that I realized from Abercrombie is that they actually have a short option for some pants. So this is one of those pants where they actually have an option where you can either get it regular or short if you're a short king, which is a huge help. These I picked up in a size small with that short feature as well. And one of the things that I usually end up having to do as a short king is I need to take my, all my pants to the tailor. So to gauge whether or not a brand is short guy friendly, we're going to be gauging whether you have to take them to the tailor to have the hems done or you can just wear them right off the rack and obviously having this short option is super helpful for the short kings as most of the pants will fit right off the rack now the next piece is this oversized crop shirt that's also part of Abercrombie's soft essentials it's got some thick stitching on the shoulders it's got a drop shoulder a boxy fit it's a cut crop it's got that rolled up hem at the bottom I've been trying to get more into oversized shirts and I don't have an oversized t-shirt yet so I decided to pick this one up the fact that it's cropped is perfect for short kings it also has a mock neck which which is either take it or leave it for you. I'm personally not a huge fan, but the fit overall is not bad. It's a little bit more loose than I was expecting, and it's a lot thinner than I was expecting. For the price, I was really expecting this to be a heavier, thicker t-shirt, but I guess I don't mind. This is such a lighter material, I think it would be a lot better for the spring and summertime. This is also a size small. Next one is another pair of linen pants. These I actually picked up at an outlet store. I got these on sale. These are labeled as stretch. Those are labeled as loose, so just keep that in mind. I don't know if they even offer these anymore, but these are probably a little bit more loose than the actual loose ones. These are not short. These are just a regular size small, but they still fit really good. I can pull them up a little bit higher on the waist if I don't want to have a break or if I don't mind having a break and I want more of a loose fit, I can just let them sit regularly on my waist and they'll have a natural break at the bottom. Loose pants are a big trend going on right now. So pants like these would be perfect to have in your rotation. It's a nice colorway. They're super light, perfect for the summer and springtime. Now the next item is personally one of my favorites and this is knitted camp collar shirt that I also picked up at the outlets. This one is a size small. The next one that you will see is a size medium. That way you can use them as airfins. Like I mentioned, I'm 5'6", about 160. This feels like a really high quality piece. I love the knitting. This is definitely one of those pieces that I get a lot of compliments on. And even though it is knitted, it's very breathable. And it's a piece that I actually wear in the summer and the springtime. If I want to go for a more elevated look from going out to dinner or something like that, something a little bit more fancy, I would wear something like this. I feel like the length is pretty appropriate for a shorter guy, especially the size small. The size medium might be just a little bit too long, but this size small, the length is great. You can always tuck them in as well for a very clean look. So that one was the brown one in a size small. This one here is black in a size medium. Personally, I probably would have got a size small in black as well if they had it. They only had the medium, so I just picked it up. So usually when I wear this black one, I'll tuck it in for the most part. But like I mentioned, I probably would go with a size small either way. The next pair of pants on the list are these. I think these are the chinos. I also bought these maybe a year ago at the outlet so I don't know if they even offer these anymore but what really surprised me and what really caught me off guard when I first found this brand which was kind of by mistake I went to the outlet I saw these on sale they were on clearance so they were like super cheap I think they came out to like $20 they were a 30 30 so I figured let me try them on if they fit they're so cheap that I can just get them tailored if they're too long once I put them on I, it was a perfect height no tailoring at all I don't know if these are like a crop pair of pants because they do look very similar to the chinos but they have a different texture they have a different little design on it so I don't think they're really the chinos they might be like a cropped pair of pants and Abercrombie just doesn't sell these anymore but right off the rack for $20 without having to get them hemmed that's a steal in my book because just to get a pair of pants hemmed is like 10 to $15 so you can imagine after a while it starts to add up a black pair of pants like this are a staple. You need to have something like this in your wardrobe. Believe it or not, another place where we struggle are with sweats, especially if you're like me. Like if you have big thighs and short legs, it's hard to find sweats that fit you properly. I would have to wear a medium, but then a medium would be 
way too long and the smalls sometimes just fit too tight. So I went ahead and I bought a couple of sweats from Abercrombie. Just like I mentioned with the pants, Abercrombie also offers a short version for some pair of sweats. So these were on sale, I believe. So I was able to get these in a size small with that short option. So they should fit me properly without having to get any tailoring done. And yes, sometimes we do have to get our sweats tailored. I literally had to get these sweats tailored to fit the length because there was just way too much bunching up at the bottom and it just looked too ridiculous. But not knowing that Abercrombie offers a short version as it is, I don't have to get any tailoring done for my sweats. They should be able to just fit right off the rack. So for the first pair of sweats, I got them with the cuff at the bottom. The next pair you'll see that are a little bit more loose fit. I really like the color. It's a very versatile color. Most of the colors that you're gonna see on all these items are more neutral. That way I can mix and match and wear them with different outfits without having to worry about them clashing too much. Now this next pair of sweats is also part of Abercrombie's Soft Essentials, also a pair of Relax. The only difference is that these are not cuffed at the bottom and obviously they're black. These also have a different waistband. The other ones are a little bit more ribbed. These are more relaxed, more subtle. The other ones kind of stand out. They look more like active sweatpants. These look like a more elevated, relaxed style. So these would be perfect for a more elevated, super relaxed outfit as they're more subtle, more sleek with no cuff at the bottom and just a relaxed fit all around. It looks like a more elegant pair of sweats. Another awesome thing about Amber Crombie is that they also offer a 28 inch seam. Not a lot of brands are offering that size. So just the fact that they have that as an option is really good for the short kings. Amber Crombie has a whole section where they only offer cropped items. If you're looking for pieces that are gonna fit you properly, something cropped would fit you like a normal jacket would or a normal shirt or whatever the case may be. So cropped, anything that's cropped is gonna be your best friend. I personally think it's a great place to find your basics that are going to fit you properly. So at the end of the day, do I think this is the most short guy friendly brand out there? No. Do I think it's a good option for a shorter guy? Possibly. If you're not like five foot under, like below that, you might just be able to get away with it if you take advantage of the short friendly options that they have for the short guys. I'm absolutely in love with their sweats. The two sweats that I showed you guys, they're the most comfortable sweats that I've ever worn in my entire life. I like the fit and I like the silhouette that it creates. And I'm also really happy with the pants. Overall, I'm pretty pleased. So if you're maybe a couple inches within the range while I'm at, which I'm like I mentioned, I'm 5'6", I think you'll be good. At the end of the day, I really do think that if you're a shorter guy, you definitely should check the brand out, give them a chance, try one or two pieces, maybe try some of the stuff that I got myself and see how you feel about it. That's pretty much all that I have for you guys. And um, oh, this box, you're wondering about this here? Oh, well, this is just our next uh, next short guy friendly brand that uh, you might just have to subscribe to see. And uh, this one is a special one, so you might not want to miss it. So if you're a short guy, do consider subscribing. I'm doing all the heavy lifting, trying out all these brands, buying all these things, trying them on, seeing if they fit us. That way you don't have to go spend your time and money. You can just watch these videos and figure out what works and what doesn't work. And with that, we better see you in the next video. Peace. What are you doing? <laughs>